This video is brought to you by the Glasgow University Charity Fashion Show. This year we're raising money for Refugee, a brilliant charity based here in Glasgow, who aim to welcome and integrate new refugees into the city. If you want to find out more or donate, be sure to click the link in the description and it will give you all the information you need. What's up, I'm saying it's your boy, someone explodes back again. And in today's video, I'm going to be going up this, the Marble Arch Mound before it closes. I've heard a lot of things about this, so I was just like, why not drop by, see what it's all about, see if it's worth the hype. Well, there was no hype anyway, but <laughs> let's go and check it out. I was cheekily scrolling the interwebs the day before when I noticed that the Marble Arch Mound was closing on the 9th of January. So I wanted to have a look and see what all the chat was about this thingy here. The mound opened back in the summer of 2021, in July, when the country had recently opened up again. I don't even remember what lockdown number it was to be fair. People were flocking abroad, keen shoppers and the occasional YouTuber popped into the many shopping districts. Nightclubs were back open, it was popping. In the minds of Westminster Council and Dutch developers MVRDV, there was one thing missing. I quote MVRDV, a temporary installation to create renewed interest in the area as London could be emerging from the conditions imposed by the pandemic. And oh, it did create a renewed interest in the area for sure. The project which originally planned to cost two million pounds was envisaged as such. An extension to Hyde Park with the hill covered in greenery, trees and making it blend in with its surroundings. When you look at it in real life, I don't think that really happened. Hmm. To be fair, it isn't really summer, summer, shine, shine time right now. But still, it's actually crazy that when this opened, people had to pay. I was seeing upwards of eight pounds. Daylight robbery. Maybe the fact that the cost of the project actually doubled just before opening due to certain factors is something. To be fair, I was even hearing that it doubled, that it tripled to like six million pounds. That's a lot of one pound coins, you know. Luckily, the entry fees were scrapped two days in. The attraction had to shut after two days when stuff went tits up. Refunds were made. Then subsequently, it's been free ever since. I can't lie, this is a nice viewpoint, but it still feels a bit underwhelming for what it is. Something about the fact that people had to pay eight pounds, eight pounds to come up here when there are cheaper and more attractive places to get good views of London. Shout out Sky Garden, Alexandra Palace, Primrose Hill. I swear down like ages ago, this used to be the Odeon Cinema. Oh my days, what have they done? I bet you they've put a prayer a manger down there as well. Because there's one, there's one down there. But imagine, I bet you there's one around the corner as well. Let's check on Google. Is there a prayer a manger down there? Yeah. Overall, this must have been a joke or a vanity project. We're in a whole cocoa and many boroughs have lost so much money, especially Westminster, home to the West End. Would the money have been best spent on green spaces they already have here? Yes, surely. 106.8%. The project was such a laughing stock that the deputy leader of Westminster Council even resigned. Fair. Well, <laughs> that was underwhelming. You know, at least it was free. Got to see some nice views and stuff, you know. It could be worse, could have had to pay like five, six pounds for it. But we vibe, we vibe. Decent weather. Decent views. Now, I thought that was all, but nope. There was an exhibition going on downstairs. From what I heard, this was actually not here when the mound initially opened. So it's nice to get something a little bit extra, even though it's free. Is this Illuminati? Well, if you enjoyed this short video, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment what you want to see in the future. It's been your boy Summon Explorers and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit.